Hello, my name is Rainer Hanekamp. This is Engine News with the latest updates from the Angular community every week. The month of the Q&A session with the Angular team took place. This time it was a little bit more code focused and Mark started to build an Angular application. But there was also time to answer questions. For example, on the topic when and why Angular re-renders components and that Jeremy gave a solid answer, which is worth remembering for any job interview. When Angular does change detection, it looks at each expression, each place where it's rendering something dynamic, and it will update it only that place in the DOM, right? It does not re-render anything. It is making updates to the DOM only for your dynamic state. On structuring Angular applications, organize your project by kind of different feature areas. Um, the thing we really want to discourage is like, don't have a folder that's like components and put all of your components in one. And on lifecycle hooks, a little bit about that definition and which ones you should use if you write a modern Angular application with signals. On init means your component or your directive has all of its inputs set. That's what on init means. And so most of the time you want to use on init. What does after view init mean? It means all of the components and directives in your components template have had their inputs set. If you're in like version 19 and you're using signals, okay. so you okay. should never use after view init, after content in it, after view checked, after content checked. Jeremy also mentioned that he has reviewed an RFC for the resource function, which is good news because that also means that we will get access to it hopefully very soon. A recurring topic in the Q&A sessions is always about micro frontends. Angular doesn't officially support them, and we have always been promised that at some point in time, an official blog post might arrive. That post is now here on the official Angular blog. Manfred Steyer, as a guest writer, wrote an article about micro frontends, what they are, what challenges they bring, and also what kind of different implementation approaches do exist. For example, module federation, which is supported by NX and Angular architects, is a popular option. However, Manfred chose to showcase native federation, an alternative from Angular architects that shares many similarities with module federation. The main difference, native federation loads ESM-based files during the runtime, whereas module federation depends on the logic of its bundler that could be Webpack or RSPack in the future. And that's it. I wish you a nice week. See you in the next episode. Goodbye.